All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the current state of the Titanic wreck, the deterioration process, where is it now, what is the difference from 1985, and where is it going in the future, because I have been told it is going to be completely unrecognizable by 2037. But the first thing I want to do is go all the way back to 1912 after it hits the ocean bottom, what does it look like? And this is a kind of a nice rendition of what it possibly could have looked like back in 1912. There's also a really good YouTube video of a scale model. That's what this is of it with zero algae on it. Possibly what it would look like back from like 1912 to 1914 or 1915. Basically a palace for all the fish. It's a brand new beautiful ocean liner. The most luxurious ocean liner in service for five days. Laying at the bottom of the ocean with all of its paint still on. With a lot of the interior still intact. It is just crazy. Uh, but that's what it would have looked like because the bow was so waterlogged when it hit the ocean floor, the front of the ship caved in to the surface and that would have made it really hard. You know, there's also the idea, should we raise the Titanic? Uh, I'm going to show people why at this point it's completely impossible. It makes no sense to raise it because we got 3D images a few months before this whole submersible disaster happened. They went down and and they took some really HD images of what the bow currently looks like. It's in a complete state of decay even since 1985. So currently scientists think that the decks of the bow could collapse by 2030 due to bacteria that's eating away at the metal. The speed of Titanic's deterioration increases as the ship's upper levels crumble some of the more famous areas of the wreck that have already disappeared include the gymnasium on the boat deck, which has completely collapsed since it was found in 1985, along with the famous captain's bathtub, which disappeared. That was found back in 2019 during a submersible dive where the submersible actually nailed the Titanic and hit it. There was no damage to it, but that's just a little fun fact. Recent estimates predict that by the year 2030, the ship may be completely eroded. And I'm just going to show some before and after 1985 versus, you know, 2012 or 2019, whenever the after photo was taken. It's, it's hard to really judge the after photos because there's been so many times that, you know, we've gone down there, but you can see the Promedon deck completely collapsed. <laughs> There's some different aerial shots of 1987 versus 2012 and also some other photos. I mean, this is, you know, you can respect, this was before people found the wreck in 85. You know, they have it right that it collapsed, but do we really think the funnels are still going to be up, folks? Come on, let's be honest. But that I thought that was kind of interesting. This is a pretty good image, 1986 versus 96 versus 2012. And then 100 years later... Check that. That's probably not a good image. You know, in that year, a hundred years from now, basically, it's not going to be recognizable. I can virtually guarantee that unless we somehow put some, some type of aid onto the ship to keep it from the bacteria eating it. It's, it's not going to look like that. It's just going to be a heap of debris. And the stern, in the recent images, the stern is completely gone. The stern looks just like a disaster after effect, just with a bunch of random debris. The only thing you can look at it when it comes to the stern, there are, a, I believe there are a few boilers, and also the big thing, the propellers, when it comes to that. So these are the 3D images that we're taking. This actually caused the Titanic to trend on Twitter in April you know, right before the anniversary of the sinking. And you can see, I mean, there are just so many interior rooms that still are unexplored that look at least passable as long as the interior decks have not collapsed. I really think we need to send one heavy duty mission with a bunch of Titanic experts down with a bunch of HD robots that can go in through the grand staircase and go to all the decks and try and get in everywhere. Go back to the Turkish baths, try and get into the swimming pool, try and get into the squash court, try and get into some of the first class areas and just do it one last time 
because if you've got scientists saying that it's going to erode by 2030, and I mean, if you look at what I am shocked, the I mean, the bow is not in a good. The hall is completely collapsed. Yeah, that is not good at all. So it looks like there's areas that have already been destroyed just in the past few years from the bacteria that's eaten away at it and made it completely weak. And then, the, yeah, the stern is done. The stern is is unrecognizable at this point. I didn't realize it got this bad until I saw these 3D images they had after they went down a few months ago and got them. So the the only thing on the stern there, you can see the propellers. You know, people wondering, can we somehow dig those propellers out and bring them up to the surface? I don't really see the point in that, honestly. I mean, they're just propellers. Yes, it would be really cool to have for a museum. I get it. But I would much rather they spend money on trying to somehow salvage, like, just, just show us images of the interior of the bow section, because that's like the only area that could possibly you know, still be together. Also, maybe the third class little seating area, you know, towards the back of the ship, like the area that imploded, that might be together, but I'm guessing the entire interior of that, the, the infrastructure is completely blown out if it really did implode. There's no point in looking at the stern other than like the propellers because it is virtually completely destroyed. So I would pretty much just focus on the bow and, and really try and explore it. I would say either 2030 or 2037, you know, you could start. The problem is there's going to be a big collapse at some point where one of the decks gives out and maybe it already happened and we don't know it and we just can't see it that's on the interior because they haven't gone to the interior in a while. They have to get those little robots out, you know, like they have to park their submersible and then get the robots out and send them in through a cable. So I'm hoping at some point they do that, but yeah, right now it is in a horrible state and you certainly cannot raise that thing. There'd be no point to raising it. It, it can't, it cannot be raised. At this point with the Titanic, the structure has been exposed to such a cold temperature because you got to remember how low it is over two miles below the sea. My speculation is if they try raising it using some type of cables that would go under the ship, I'm guessing it would collapse. It's just, it's so delicate at this point. So that is the current state of the Titanic wreck. There are just some more images of the comparison aerial view. That is kind of, that's back in 1985. You can see the gymnasium at that point still together. The gymnasium collapsed relatively early on from when we found it. And then the recent discovery back in 2019 was the bathtub completely being unrecognizable with a bunch of debris around it and things like that. So I would say at this point, the Titanic is rapidly deteriorating. There's estimates around 2030, 2037 to where like people wonder what will the bow look like? I would say once it gives out and collapses, it's going to look very similar to what the stern looks like right now. Maybe if we get lucky and it collapses, it might open up a room, but I tend to think it's just all going to be destroyed if it collapses, unfortunately. So that is the current state of the Titanic wreck in 2023. Thankfully, we do have those 3D images to see how bad the damage is, and I am hopeful that well, I guess now with the submersible disaster, it's probably going to be, you know, very unpopular. The general public is not going to want people to go down there or whatever because of what happened. But that was a different situation to where that was a tourist thing and they didn't even have the right type of shape of the submersible and they've admitted it. And in their waiver, they said you might die on this. That's a completely independent thing as opposed to actually sending experts down and doing it legitimately and getting just a bunch of HD quality upgraded video shining a big, I want to see a big just spotlight just be dropped in through the grand staircase and light up everything. That's what I would really want to see if they can do something like that. But we'll have to see, guys, 2030, maybe 2037. Uh, but it's happening quickly, and the hall is, like, caving in the front of it. That's kind of the big thing that's happened recently. Uh, but, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.